This is not just a sport we're starting. This is a culture we're starting here. One, two, three, for me! When I had the opportunity to interview here uh, back in the spring of 2019, uh, I asked uh, Mr. Esau, the headmaster here, and then Mr. Tony Crew is our old assistant headmaster, um, do you guys have football? And they said, oh, well, we got a small flag team, you know, that we're building up. And I said, is it a chance to go tackle? And they said, that's the end goal. Um, and by the end of that day, I pretty much said, sign me up. Diamond Lisa, option one, go. Diamond Lisa, option one, Lisa, option one, option one, option one, one. ready? <laughs> With myself and the other great um, assistant coaches I have, and our great athletic director, um, Rich Goleski, we were really able to put a you know a financial um, plan forward um, to to leap that hurdle to get it started. Our athletic director, Rich Goleski, um, he who he knew the uh, the former tight end for the Cardinals. He got his number, texted him, "Hey, we're starting a new program. We want to support the community. You know, anything helps." He said, "I can't help you, but I know the the, the operations guy here at the Cardinals, and we have a, a couple lockers full of things that we're looking to donate." We took a ride over there one afternoon, and next thing you know, we're coming back with a full box truck and a, and a pickup truck worth of um, practice jerseys, practice what? pants, uh, pads, um, step over pads, uh, blocking pads, all of that. Um, something that we didn't expect. We were hoping for you know, just a little something, and then next thing you know, the Cardinals were gracious enough to grant us um, with all of, this, all of this equipment, thousands of dollars worth. Um, and once we got that, that was the like, okay, we got the equipment. We we got to go in head first now. We can't we can't hold back. Oh, it means a lot, man. You know, especially coming from a professional pro football league team, right? I've been watching them since I was growing up. You know, hearing that they're actually helping us try and start up this football program that meant a lot. Oh boy, he got lost. Crocodile lost in the desert. <laughs> So we got 19 athletes on the team. We have three great managers um, that are here every day with us. And then we have myself and then three assistant coaches. Um, three of the four of us uh, teach here at the school at anywhere from the second and third grade level up to high school, I, I like myself. Um, and then the players come from, you know, ninth through 12th grade here. We only have 150 students in all of high school. And so to be able to even find, you know, a bunch of, of 20 plus that can go and play and, and do what's needed, that's been a feat in itself. We trust our athletes versus their athletes. I was definitely excited hearing that we would finally have a football, tackle football team. So that's why I decided to join. It was my first year too as well, tackle football. And it felt more better knowing that I'm here with my coaches, my family, I mean my, my team, my squad, my boys. Ready, set, hack. We had one goal. To give a winning effort in our first game, we we didn't. I don't think I even knew how many games were on our schedule to start the season. I couldn't have told you. We had seven seven games scheduled. Kind of all came together, and next thing you know, we're sitting here going into the playoffs, saying, "Wow!" We told the players before the first game that my uh, the first pregame speech of the season. I said, "Listen, you guys are the first team that gets to wear Maryville prep across your chest. You guys get to represent your school and community. You do what you want with that." And they showed out pretty good, seven and zero. It shows what they think of them, their, their community. It definitely puts me in the state of awe. Thinking that we are undefeated and we're going to playoffs first year, uh, it's pretty unbelievable. One beat on three, one beat on three, one, two, three, one beat!